So once we're done with this field, I think we're done for the day. We've got to finish ploughing and planting. But that gives us all day tomorrow to cut the grass, turn it into silage bales. Do I need hay? We'll check the hay supplies at the cow shed. we done all it? Surely not. Wow. We are so caught up. In that case, I want two more. I'll go down to the cow shed and drop them off there. position that's not okay let's try pressing the right button there we go So button 4 changes the side that we unload to. Good, a goodly supply of uh, both straw and hay. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, this is my entrance. I'm going to park this down at the end out of the way. here. That's good. Start the engine. And that should be fine. So, 
this should be able to match speeds and get a full load here. Till we're full. Uh, there's no way we've got a full auger load of uh, wheat here left on the field. Is where are we going to take this load? Attention, we're running into the loot. Possibly oh, fill it up. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Ah, uh, stop. Oh, it's more than 42,000. Okay. Well, them's the brakes. Not going to get a full trailer here. I now need cell point 576 still at Highland Grains. Okay then, we shall get back to Highland Grains. That'll be another 20,000. Put us up on over about 760. Good. And this trailer here is why you need 380 horsepower or better. Because we are struggling with this weight. And I'm thinking if nothing else comes along, when I play Oakfield Farm on Farm Sim 19, I am probably going to include a Class Axion 900 series, probably bigger than this one. Because the fields on Oakfield Farm are far steeper than the hills on this one. It's either that will go with smaller equipment. Which also has potential. Okay, I'm going to go into the store, not into the BGA. So,
So if we are lucky, 760,000 by the end of this load. I think we're going to make that easily. Not sure. Seven. Eight. No, we're not. But we did make 20,000. Okay. Another truckload of straw bales to the store will probably get us to 760. like Jeremy. the harvester. I do have a full trailer of straw on the ground. How full is that now? 80. Am I going to get my message that uh, oh no, that's the bailer, which See what the harvest is at. 66. Wow. Okay. Yes, I do have a mic. Can you not hear me? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, you kind of get worried when you've been broadcasting for an hour and then someone says, hey, is your mic on? Sort of, what? I hope so. Because otherwise I've been talking to myself for an hour. Eighty percent full. No, I'm not playing multiplayer. Uh, this is Farm Sim 17. It's a single play farm. I, I've played this farm now for about 500 hours solo. So, 
this is kind of my farm as opposed to one I invite other people to play on. Okay, six more. Because of uh, the size of this farm, I do use a lot of helpers. I do not play with course play, I do play with follow me. Okay. So, for these tasks, there's a lot of jumping in and out of vehicles. Outro that's hauling the baler is on a follow me. Um, I believe this is um, the auger wagon is an in-game auger wagon. The AR frame system, which is what the truck has, no, that's not available on uh, console at all. So this this is the auger wagon I'm using GTW430 has a 43,000 liter capacity. The truck probably easier to go back here um, comes with two trucks, a couple of trailers, more than a couple of trailers, and then a whole bunch of attachments, which includes a mixing wagon, uh, animal transport, flatbed which has auto load function, a servicing frame which I don't use, a logging frame with a crane, a logging cage, a logging frame, I have two of those. These also include auto load but I really don't use those because they're unreliable. Uh, diesel tank, uh, water tank, uh, fuel tanker for shipping to uh, sales if you have a map that has a production facility. This tank I use for silage and digestate. And it's got a couple of other things. I've also got a couple of chaser bins as well. And then tippers. This is the only tipper that comes with a uh, a cover, so I tend to use that tipper. Okay, back to the truck. Lost the truck. There it is. There is a bale trailer that is available for console in Farm Sim 17. There's actually two versions of it. One auto loads round bales, the other one auto loads square bales. Um, I don't know exactly which mod it is, and I'm not sure I bothered loading it because I'd already found half a dozen auto load trailers. Um, that suit my purposes. I mean, the, obviously, the advantage with PC auto load uh, uh, trailers is that they can pick up pallets and other stuff as well. What's it called? I don't know. Let's, I'll see if I got it. I don't know. I can't say for definite that I did. Um, what's it in? Mailing technology. Honestly, I don't have much in the way of bailing technology stuff here. Um, miscellaneous. Frame Volvo edition, uh, low loaders, nope, it's definitely not in header trailers, so it might be in, I don't think it's in tippers either, no, I do not, the only auto load system I've got loaded for this particular map is this AR frame system. 
Give me a sec. I'll run this out to the uh, uh, to the cell point. We'll make the sale, and it's getting on for 11:30, which is kind of looking towards lunchtime. So I'll bounce off into the uh, mod hub just after I'm finished here. We can take a look. Not to hit the car or the other car. Uh, the, pro the problem I had with Farm Sim 17 was I was downloading so many um, mods that the store and the mod list just got unmanageable. So when I said eventually right towards the end when I after I when I started playing this map and a couple of maps before this one I just started going through the mod list and saying okay these are, these are the mods I'm going to include on this farm at least initially and then later I might say oh I need something else and I would then um, grab another mod. I'm going to stop that there and back up and you are done okay we will jump over there and back to the Valtra. We'll take that off, follow me. And then oh, we'll, we'll use beaming technology to get to the plow. We can stop there. Okay. Um, one quick check of where we're at. Um, this field is being ploughed, this field, we've probably got about two or three more passes there and that's finished. Uh, these fields are set up for barley, this is my canola field. And probably... I don't know what I'm going to do with most of the rest of them. There's going to be corn on some of these. Anyway, save that. Quit. And let's go find the uh, bot hub. Ah, uh, mods. Didn't see it. I th That's part of the problem. Um, fairly certain it was in this sort of style. Um, but it's not that one. Um, <laughs> It was a dolly trailer and it came in two variants, one which included square and one included round bales. I'm, I'm just not seeing it.
listen to that one. Is that one? I oh, oh, it was it was it this one? Uh, it might have been this pack. Not entirely sure. I, as I said, uh, bail trail around or bay, or square. Yes. So it's the DD mod passion um, thing um, mod. Add your anti pack. Uh, add your anti pack, and it includes auto load trailers. One is a square bail tra lo auto loader. The other one is a round auto loader. I think that's the one you want, and I'm definitely sure that whichever one did come, it has the dolly at the front, so it's a pain in the butt to reverse. But as I said, there there are so many. Um, it's a lot in beta. Um, oh, the big bag stuff. And I had a whole host of... Um, Wow. Someone's been adding uh, mods to here. I don't remember a lot of these being on here. Don't remember that one. That one I do remember. I wish that was in Farm Sim 17 because that's a nice small um, forage wagon. Um, but I think there's, there's a lot like that style uh, with autoload scripts on. Oh, there's that. If you play with seasons, um, that puts grit on the gr ground, which destroys the snow. That's that's a clever little adjustment for the uh, the small three-point hitch uh, spreaders. And then someone also did the. Uh, is there? Hmm. Yeah, I haven't wandered through here for a long time. I liked that pack. It um, it included uh, four cylinder and six cylinder T T6 New Holland, with far more engine options than the in-game one. The problem was was the narrow tires on these weren't coded as narrow tires in the game, so they would still destroy all your crops, which was less than ideal. Fertilization. But yes, nostalgia. Not that I'm going to download any more mods on this particular version. Measure that. That is a, a very, very nice mod. Because it allows you, effectively allows you to place a stake in the ground and walk away from it, and tells you how far you are away from it. It's available in Farm Sim 19. I'm not sure it's on console, um, but you can toggle between meters and feet. Anyway, as I said, um, I'm going to call it for the night or day. I wish you all a good weekend. And I will be back definitely on Monday with the OSA Family Farm, Field Mountain. Um, may run a stream tomorrow night, depends how I feel and how everybody else feels that's involved in that one. So in the meantime, have a good day and I'm out of here.